And we are back with some more Banner Saga 2. We have poor morale. Did not think I left myself with poor morale. I'm not entirely sure who's injured. But it's only been a week since I last played, but yeah. The last episode is in the uh, cards above. Right, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We went and saved Fassel. That's what we did. That's what we did. So that would be why we have injuries. Okay. Still don't know why we have poor morale, though. So we've got 18 right now. Let's spend it on some supplies. All the supplies. And then rest up some. Right, and then let's leave. So Assault carried a very, very, very bad sounding message for Rook. So I wonder what the hell that's going to be. A couple of scouts rush into town as you prepare to leave. The towers are them we thought! One shouts. It's like the dredge don't sleep! The fear in the man's voice courses through the fighters and clansmen, and two steps you near him, backhanding him in the ground. Return and face the caravan, men try to act strong for the families while the yawks bleat nervously. Speed and luck are your only hopes to outpace the dredge and make it to Manahar. We won't be stopping for anything! You shout. Rest included! This is what? This is what we call a death march! But what if we're attacked? The Falca asked. The wounded will need a rest. You shake your head. We will be attacked! You say. The wounded die or make it to Manahar. That's as simple as it gets. What words make you consider your caravan? Uh, staying behind would mean they're dead. Move out and leave the fighting to those who know how. Garan responds to the command without complaint. You even see a few smiling at you as if you've done something good by just getting them moving. Stupid humans. That's very pretty though. I mean I know it's supposed to be ominous and everything, but those shades just ah the game does not fail to disappoint. From over a hill dredge emerge armed. Let me and a few others handle this lot, Spar says before coughing violently. Keep going, we know where to find you. We all know the danger we're in, so don't go getting soft and sentimental on me. I thought they'd say they might not care if I, however, we have what they want, so. I really do not want him to die though. And no one has died yet, so... Let's just see where this goes. Fasold said they might not care how to fight. Keep moving! Nervously the caravan moves. Dredge cautiously watch you and the humans walk by, but they do not engage. When you are well past the group, everyone around you starts cheering and telling their version of what just happened. Whey!
There's too many of them, Bolverk. Foka yells. And too far to go. We've got to stop for a rest. She doubled over. Your roadside burn as you gulp here. The rest of the caravan is no better. A deep vibration fills the air. Fuels the air? I think that should be fellows. Unsettling you. It's coming from within your ranks. The stone singer. Where's the inverted commas? The stone singer. Poker shuts. Shut him up. What's it doing, Falca? Zephyr's head is turned, trying to make out complicated sounds. I I can't be certain. Something about our location, but there's more. He's begging, but for peace or to be saved, I don't know. Ah, uh, so that let a song play out. The humming vibration continues, more dredge appear, the stone singer's song feels more intense, more desperate. They growl a warning. Some of the dredge stay back, but others advance. Uh, really? Really? I should have. Uh, I should have done what the Wachut Chiti would do to the Wachut. Smashed his head off a rock. A wee bit of his venture there for you. Uh, so I I mean, Vassalt's only at rank 3, so. There's no point. Just nine point. Oh, these very dredge back. Uh, that's four stone singers. And a gloom warden. Right, so I want Bolverk on the right hand side anyway. Put Folk across this side. Uh, Deitch. Let him across that side too. Send him across that side also. Spark and stay on this side. Got a wounded stone singer ready to come in. Okay, interesting. They've got a ten for sh armor. So there's no way I can kill them. I can certainly smack his face up. It's fine. Oh. 
you song stripped armor from the dredge. So you step up to there. Ah, Jesus, seriously, when he stop. Ugh, one left. Damn it. And so that guy goes next, and then it goes. There's no way that she can get up to it, so she needs to rush up there. See ya. The moves, is he not? Just the rock things. Warp stone, a stone egg hatches in a skulker, if not destroy. Ah, oh, Jesus. Get into the kill. Sigurn. Wreck that thing's face, thank you.
Would you stop putting them down, please? Would you pack it off? Oh god damn it, they fucking hatched. Okay. Strength damage minus two, strength damage minus one. Stonesinger falls to the ground, drained of the ability to even stand. Zephyr stops you from approaching him. He was calling to the others to leave this place, she says. They paid him no heed, so he did what he could to help us. It cost him. He's as frail as a child now. You snort and signal for everyone to keep moving. Zephyr and a few others place the Stonesinger back in a cart. Yeah, he did legitimately help. Just didn't help the fact that they had four Stonesingers to negate him doing what he did. Caravan is tiring, but so far still marching. Ahead, dreads are climbing out of a crevice. Enough of being chased by these fain stone lovers. Man takes off towards crevice on his own. Echo, come on, man. Don't want him to die, but I don't want anyone else to die because he's charged off. So it doesn't fire though. Fires fall echo as the caravan continues moving, no one stopping to even look over their shoulder. I I I just can't help it. Ravens are making good time despite growing tired. So th through this pass, you say, and keep your heads down. Suddenly snow and rocks roared down a hill in front of you. That's no coincidence, you say, and turn to find Dredge pressing in. Yeah, I mean, I... If Echo's going to charge off into a battle that I've told him not to do, then I can't really sacrifice these people. Uh, yeah, it just nah. I'm I'm not doing it. Just nah. Right, you sunny Jim. 
you can get from weed. Let's make it a bit stronger. Promote, no, can I promote you again? How much do I need to be able to promote him again? 19. Okay. We have to clear those rocks behind us. Uh, that those two red guys. I don't think I've encountered a red slag slingers before. This is not a very big map at all though. Hmm. Right, I need the gloom board indeed. Actually, legitimately, I need to clear the rocks. Slab hurler knocks target back on. Oh, no, I think I have scourge destroyer. Okay. Okay, so Sigbjorn is going heading back the way then. So that one goes. Oh fucking Christ man. It's not very smart. I completely forgot that in that range. If we don't clear this very nice away, the kind of I won't get through. Why has she got Would you leave her alone, please? Right. 
So I might be losing Volca. Just get your bugger off. Oh, Jesus. Did not realize that's what that would do. How can ice deflect it exactly? Behave game. Oh, I can't even bloody. That's the only way I could do that without hitting Syndra. Maybe I'm too tired for this. Maybe. interpreted this fight. Yeah, I've totally misinterpreted this fight. And I need to actually take it to dredge and clear the bit behind. Oh no. So a spar and Volca gone then? Please don't be. Really don't want to lose them. Yeah, not surprised I got feck all renowned for that. Oh, that was bad. The old Ford. 
can almost make out the old ford in the distance but there's open land between you and it. Oddly, the treads seem to have fallen away. Some ravens begin slowing, tripping over their own feet with exhaustion. Pick up your feet, you roar. Sprint to the bridge. Drinks on me on the other side of the river. No one has the energy to even smile, but they move a bit faster. I guess Bovacat was friends with Dingler after all. Ravenfire says just before a rock craters the side of his face. All around you, dredge burst out of snowdrifts, their faces contorted in rage. Uh... And that is where we are going to stop for today's video. Jeez, this is... This, this has been what kind of what I was expecting to start happening. And we probably have our first confirmed death of Banner Saga 2. Which is impressive considering this is what, episode 23? Yeah, I think it's something like that. That's, that's pretty damn impressive. Echo, who's barely been involved since he went with Bovark, just decided to run off. So, hey, power to him. I hope he had a glorious death. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, clicking the thumbs up would help me know that you did appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Banner Saga 2 videos are going up every Tuesday until we're completed. I do do daily Let's Plays as well, though, where I do multiple voices and multiple vape games. So if that's your thing, feel free to check them out as well. For now though, thanks for watching, take it easy, adios.